There are all kinds of horror stories in the media at the moment about buying things on Facebook Marketplace. But what's the truth of the matter? I'll give you my overview. A recent survey from TSB has revealed that a third of purchases made on Facebook's Marketplace are scams and the online shop should be avoided. TSB has revealed that Marketplace accounts for 73% of all fraud cases registered with the bank and it had become the biggest driver of fraud by volume. It's been estimated that some £60 million could have been lost by consumers to scammers last year. The most common scams usually involve vehicles and parts, followed by phones, shoes and clothing, as well as games consoles and accessories. So with the one in three chance of being scammed, should any of us be using Facebook Marketplace? And how can we avoid falling victim to scammers? According to this research today, I think we all need to be very, very careful when using a site like Facebook Marketplace. And there are lots and lots of reasons for that. But the amount of potential fraudsters lurking there is staggering. Now, as I often say to people, you wouldn't give someone 100 quid to a stranger on the streets who told you that round the corner they had a great deal for you. But that's effectively what you're doing on Facebook Marketplace. It runs on trust. It's not being policed very well by Facebook. And when things go wrong, it's almost impossible to speak to a human being. So I would really encourage people to think long and hard about whether they want to use the site at all. Any purchase that you make online contains an element of risk. But with a little bit of research, you can protect yourself in many ways. Now, the best way to do that is think about the way that you're actually paying for something. And um, even the smallest traders, you know, if you buy a cupcake or you buy a coffee from a little portable van on the street, there'll be the facility to take your card. Now, if you pay by debit card or credit card, or you use an e-payment system like PayPal, if something goes wrong, you can charge back that money or through an e-payment system, there's a buyer dispute resolution scheme. Now, just one quick word of warning if you are using PayPal. Many of the fraudsters that I've seen encourage you to spend using PayPal's friends and family facility. That's just a means for transferring money to people that you know and trust. You should never, ever use it to buy things because once you've made a direct transfer, then you can't get that money back. Now, here's the other warning as well. Lots of these fraudsters will encourage you to make a transfer from your bank account. This is something that we tend to do many, many times every single week. But when you transfer money direct from your online banking to another bank account, it's incredibly difficult to get the money back. It's as good as gone. So the only way to really protect yourself is to use a secure payment method and make sure that's a debit card, credit card, or regulated e-payment service. One of the things that really grinds my gears is these massive global companies who issue statements that, in effect, say, oh, we're too big to actually police. Now, I've heard this time and time again from some of the really, really big online marketplaces, but Facebook in particular has a lot of questions to answer. It's ludicrous to suggest that you've created something that is so big that it has to be self-policing. And my other concern is it's almost impossible to actually be able to phone anyone to make a complaint at Facebook. Despite it being one of the biggest companies in the world, you simply can't contact it. So it's not acceptable. All other organisations, shops, retailers and online marketplaces in the United Kingdom at least have a feasible dispute resolution scheme. Facebook is very, very poor at that. And it is the most complained about site that I hear about from viewers and people who read uh, my columns. So I have a number of concerns about what it's doing. It's got a ton of money. It can do an awful lot better than it is at the moment. If you're using Facebook Marketplace, then imagine that you're not interacting with a computer. Imagine you're interacting with somebody down the pub or that you meet on the street. You've got to exercise that level of caution and think, what will happen when I hand over my money? How will I get the goods and services? If something goes wrong, how do I make a complaint? How do I contact this person? Do I know that these contact details are actually real? And what if there's a problem with the goods or services if they aren't fraudulent and they simply turn up and they aren't as advertised or are broken? If you ask yourself all of those questions and think how you would deal with that in reality, apply exactly the same logic to Facebook Marketplace. Think through all of those options before handing over a penny. And also do a little bit of research as well. A lot of these people on the site, the fraudsters 
go on and off and they create different personas. But you might be able to spot a trail of displeased people who've been conned over similar things. Here's a word of warning as well. If maybe you're buying a car or Taylor Swift concert tickets, have a look at some of the comments on Facebook's own forums. They will tell you if there are fraudsters who are running a particular type of scam. That way you can check to see if this brilliant offer that you've got is actually something that's already been used to rip people off. Even though fraudsters can change their name and identity and change the quality of the ads, scams tend to work in the same way. So double check just to see if those offers really are as good as they say they are and if other people have been ripped off too. A couple of things to look out for then. As with any form of purchase, always have a look to see what the seller's history is. Have they just created a profile? Are there other people who provided reviews that look legitimate? Can you tell if this person's been selling things or is it a whole new persona that suddenly appeared? Are there useful contact details? And also, is there any suggestion that this type of scam has been used before? Always be a little bit cynical if it's a brand new seller with no history on the site or somebody who isn't contactable. And look for obvious errors. You find there's a lot of terrible spelling and very questionable information. And if you spot a profile picture that literally looks too good to be true, probably is. The two things to watch out for more than anything when it comes to Facebook Marketplace are cars and concert tickets. These are the things that people tend to fall for time and time again because they're hot button issues, everybody wants them, there's lots of demand and people can sometimes leave their common sense by the door. Now it also makes sense to have a look for things like electronics, popular phones, popular machines, things that you might really want to buy but actually at a much more reduced price. So be cynical about any of these hot ticket issues but you are not going to get a bargain for Taylor Swift or Bruce Springsteen on Facebook Marketplace. At the very least, those tickets will be resold through resale agencies. They won't be sold on there and they certainly won't be sold for less than face value. And if you're dreaming of a new motor, stick with the traditional methods.